greentechnica.ru Интернет-магазин техники для здорового питания номер один в России. And this is the drip tray that actually goes underneath on the bottom of the dehydrator. So any drips or crumbs will catch, you know, be caught in the drip tray. And so it'll be really easy to clean. You just pull this out, you know, dump it over your compost, pin compost all your drips or maybe even eat them. <laughs> and then wash this out. Once again, 100% stainless, really nice, high quality. See, of course, next we got the power cord. This is your standard IEC cord. So if you guys have like a desktop PC, Um, this is the standard cord, so if you should uh, lose it, really easy to replace, just a couple bucks. So I like that they've gone to this format. It is um, three prong, it looks to be about six feet. All right, so we get to take off this uh, padding here and let's slide this sucker out. Man, this is one heavy dehydrator. Might need to get a hand uh, from a friend <clears throat> to uh, unbox this guy. If you're a single lady, get your husband or boyfriend over. All right. <laughs> There we go, this is how it comes wrapped up. All stainless steel and you know, they got uh, the, the protection on the side so it doesn't get marred in the shipping or in transit. And as you guys can see, it has really good packing. Uh, my unit does not appear to be damaged. All right, so on the bottom of the box there, you got your tray pack. This is a 10 stainless steel trays. It will say nine on the box. It's really 10. Let me go ahead and open this up to share with you guys what these babies look like. You know, other uh, Excalibur dehydrators use a plastic trays. And you know, many people are concerned about you know plastic on their foods. Rest assured, these are 100% stainless steel trays through and through. What I want you guys to be aware of is you know there's other stainless steel dehydrators on the market, and uh, you know while they do have stainless steel like the outside casing and it's only single wall, this is a double wall which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, many of the screens that come with these other stainless steel dehydrators that are made in China are really cheap and inexpensive. I mean, you guys get what you pay for. Um, they're actually chrome plated. And the chrome plating, you know, may not be the best thing to dehydrate on. This is 100% food grade stainless steel and uh, looks really nice. So yeah, you got 10 of these guys. And uh, next, let's go ahead and uh, take out this wrapping off the dehydrator and uh, see what we got. All right, here it is. Check out this baby. All its glory, 10 tray dehydrator, real armored glass doors. Yeah, don't try, they're not bulletproof, so don't try to shoot them. They're not that armored. But they are um, uh, basically tempered, so they're gonna be nice and safe for you. We got all this white plastic on the side of the dehydrators to protect it in shipping. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, peel this off here. All right, check it out. We're revealing our beautiful stainless steel Excalibur dehydrator here, 100% stainless steel. I mean, this is like commercial quality for home use. I mean, this guy definitely it'll set you back quite a, a pretty penny. But think about it. You know, if you invest in appliance, your uh, you know this dehydrator, you're never gonna have to buy another one. It's gonna literally last your lifetime because I mean, this thing is built like a Sherman tank. All right, now we're removing the protective coating off the back of the unit. <laughs> definitely, definitely really fun doing this. And uh, once again, there was no shipping damage on my unit here. Got it just like new, and when you're paying this much for a dehydrator, definitely better come new like new. There we go. And uh, while we're back here, I want to show you guys this uh, back assembly, basically. It's got some uh, few venting holes in the top. This is some venting holes for the fan. And uh, of course, this is uh, NSF and UL listed. So yeah, definitely really cool NSF. This is uh, basically certified for commercial use. Definitely good for your home as well. And uh, UL, UL listed, uh, 120 volts, uh, 600 watts, 60 hertz. And uh, this is serial number 118. So they just started making these guys. And uh, oh, okay, so the other thing they got on the back here is basically an on off switch that's lit. It also is a, actually has a built in circuit breaker so it will actually pop if it's uh, overloaded. Then you could just reset it, and uh, you're going to go ahead and plug in that e -E IEC cord in the back of the machine. Finally, I want to share with you guys the uh, bottom of the unit here. So once again, we got more of this plastic stuff. It's kind of a pain to remove, and I'm actually happy that they put it on so that the dehydrator will not come marred or scratched or anything like that. And we're just going to go ahead and peel this stuff off. But as I do, you know, I want to point out on the bottom of this machine 
It's actually kind of cool. Unlike other Excalibur dehydrators, they actually have some rubber feet. So this will prevent marring or scratching of your countertop or wherever you place the dehydrator. And you know, this thing is actually quite heavy. So you won't want to put it on a stable uh, surface. One of the cool things I like about this Excalibur dehydrator is that it'll basically fit underneath your standard uh, 16 inch kitchen cabinets and you can push it all the way back against the wall because the controls are now in the front. So let me go ahead and uh, share with you guys that and how it looks. Ugh. One heavy unit there. So here it is. I'm going to go ahead and take off this tape here. So we got the two uh, glass doors. We could open these guys up and check it out. 100% stainless steel on the inside, all lined. Except this uh, bottom lip here, this top uh, lip here. The door handles are plastic, but the hinges on the lid are actually uh, metal. And 100% stainless on the inside. I mean, this is definitely a feat of engineering. There are no nooks and crannies in here, so they, they simply have to actually press out this. It kind of reminds me like inside one of those like Star Wars spaceships back in the day. Kind of looks like that, but these are all the cutouts. Basically, they pressed out to hold the shelves. In the back, it appears they have actually one of the trays that actually um, protects the uh, your fingers from going into the fan, which is a, a metal fan blade. It's six and a half inches in diameter. The standard uh, 3900 dehydrator Excalibur is like uh, seven inch, I believe. And this is specially designed fan blades to push more air efficiently. In addition, they have your standard uh, heating coil in the back, and all the apparatus looks really nice, neat, and clean in the back there. So next, I want to go ahead and show you guys some close-up shots inside this dehydrator. Definitely looks really cool. As you guys see the close-ups, and you know the quality construction on this Excalibur uh, EXC10 dehydrator. All right here's the inside of the dehydrator for you guys. 100% stainless steel on the bottom here. As we go up the sides, you can see, I mean, this is uh, pressed out. Other dehydrators I've seen on the sides like have holes. So this is gonna make it really easy and simple and easy to clean. As you guys can see, the uh, the roof also, wow, it's uh, stainless steel, so so uh, shiny that actually you can see the uh, reflection of the uh, fan on the back as so we pan down. There's the fan, assembly six and a half inches. Really nice looking fan assembly there. Uh, the heating element and all the uh, wiring looks really clean in there. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and pan out and then show you guys this display. And we're going to stop there because this display definitely has some uh, things I want to go over with you. All right, so now we're going to run you guys through how to use this uh, control panel. Super simple, super easy to use. First thing you're going to do is turn on the machine. As you guys will see, it powers up. And as you guys can see, it's going to say, Temperature zero degrees Fahrenheit time zero zero zero. So that lets you know it's ready to be programmed. And uh, the first thing you do, I want to share with you guys. If you see it says zero degrees Fahrenheit, can't change that to Celsius. You're just going to go ahead and uh, press the start button and the time minus button over here. Hold that down a couple seconds. And as you guys could see, it beeped at you and then it went to C. So that's Celsius. If you want to do Celsius, I'm a Fahrenheit type guy myself. So we're going to go ahead and uh, Hold that back down, switch it to Fahrenheit. So now what you want to do is you can program the time and the temperature. You're just going to go ahead and hit the plus button and it starts off at 95 degrees. And you could hold that down one step at a time and increments up. If you hold it down, it goes quite fast. Vroom, all the way up to 165. I do not recommend dehydrating at 165. Uh, what I recommend dehydrating at myself uh, on this Excalibur machine is 110 degrees. The reason why I recommend 110 degrees on this dehydrator is because this dehydrator has a 7 degree temperature swing. So at any, if you set it to 110, at some point it may get up to 117 and then go as low as 103. Other Excalibur dehydrators that don't have the digital control have a larger temperature fluctuation, so that's why I recommend you set the previous uh, non-digital Excalibur dehydrators at 105 because the, the swing is a little bit more. Next, you're gonna go ahead and set the time you wanna dehydrate for, so this is really handy and easy. It's gonna basically run at, to the allotted time and uh, shut itself off. So we're just gonna go ahead and hold this time button down. It's incrementing up. As you guys can see, we got it to 23 hours and 46 minutes. 
if you just uh, single click it, it'll go up by the minute. And if you hold it down, it starts to, you know, increment by the hour. So we're just going to go ahead and hold this guy down and let's see the max we could get to. 37, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Can you count that fast? All right, 99 hours is the maximum allotted time. I mean, that thing will run like, what, like nearly four days straight for you. In most cases, you know, your dehydration will be done in 12 to 24 hours, depending on what you're dehydrating, the temperature you set it at, the thickness of your slice, and your current, you know, humidity in the air, and, of course, the moisture level in the food you're dehydrating. So let's see, we're going to go ahead and... You know, 110 degrees, and normally what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my dehydrator for like 24 hours. Most things should be done, and I'd rather set the dehydrator a little bit long and have it over dehydrated than under dehydrated. If you under dehydrate and do not take enough moisture level out, you can then actually get mold, so that's not actually too good. So that's uh, the first way you could program this uh, EXC10 dehydrator. Um, with the brand new model here and the digital control, they are now offering you a new way to program your dehydrator to save you time and to ensure you have the highest level of enzymes and nutrients in your food while saving the most amount of time dehydrating. So let me go ahead and show you this. We had it set for 110 degrees for 25 hours and uh, 58 minutes. We could hit the start button here. As you guys can see or hear, the fan comes on. I'm gonna go ahead and close that door there. Fairly quiet, once again, this is empty. And actually, this is a more quiet than previous Excalibur dehydrators, like the plastic ones that I have owned. Much more stable. There's no rattling or shaking. Nice and sturdy. And this is definitely one nice built machine. So, uh, you know, I, I do like the clear doors. So you can actually look in there and, and check out what's dehydrating. But if you want to stop it at any time, you just press the red uh, button here. Stop. Turns it off. And now you are reset back to zero and zero. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to program it for a two time and two temperature cycle. So this is how you're going to save time and uh, be able to dehydrate things uh, more quickly. And so to do this, you're going to basically uh, press the stop button. At the same time, you're going to hit the time subtract button. And if you look closer on the screen, you'll see, you know, now we go, we went to the temperature of 95 degrees, time at 15 minutes. And there's a little one. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's basically a one with a circle around it. So this is the first temperature. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go ahead and set this temperature up to 140 degrees. Now, I know if you're a raw foodist, for many of you guys it might not matter, but if you're a raw foodist, you're like, John, you're going to cook your food at 140, man. So here's the thing. The dehydrator will get up to 140. It'll have a seven degree swing. So it'll actually get up as high as 147, but as low as 133 in the hyperwave uh, technology that it's using to prevent the case hardening or the hardening of the outside of the fruits and vegetables and herbs and things you're dehydrating in there. So this is really cool. I have found case hardening be a problem on other dehydrators on the market. So that's why they have this uh, fluctuation. Now, what this is gonna do is at the 140, you're gonna dehydrate at 140 and let's go ahead and amp up the time. We're going to go ahead and put the time up to, for me, I would like to do about four hours at 140. So say, for example, you're dehydrating tomatoes. T tomatoes are super juicy, have a lot of water content. You're going to go ahead and put them in there. And if you're dehydrating at 110, just to evaporate all the moisture that's in that tomato is going to take a long time. But if you crank it up to like 140 degrees, for example, that's like 30 degrees more. It's going to happen much more quickly. And you do not have to be alarmed about the temperature of the food because the, because the water is evaporating off, there's so much moisture in there, the temperature of the food itself will not exceed, you know, for example, 118 degrees, which is where the enzymes start to degrade if that is what concerns you. Of course, this feature is optional. You do not have to use it. But I always like to start off the dehydration process strong, get that get the most of the moisture evaporated quickly. Also to let you guys know that you're on this mode on the bottom of the display, it'll actually say two time to temperature mode. So now that we have the first time and temperature program, we're gonna go ahead and program uh, the second uh, time and the second temperature to get to the next screen. You're gonna go ahead and press the stop and time minus button. Hold it down for two seconds. If you don't do this properly, it'll basically just throw you into the single program mode. And you'll hear it beep and then you'll see it actually will go to a number two on the bottom. It'll also still say two time and two temperature mode. 
If it does not say this, you've actually pressed the button for an in improper amount of time and you're gonna have to go ahead and start over. So for the second time and temperature, we will actually just crank this up to only 110 and then we're gonna go ahead and crank the time up to a total of 20 hours. All right, about 19 hours, good enough. And then we're just gonna go ahead, when you're ready to run it, hit the start button. As you guys can see, it's now telling you it's on time number one, 140 for four hours, it's counting down. In addition, you can see at the top of this display, there's a little fan light, that means the fan is operational. And it's basically gonna count down after four hours, it's gonna stop program one, go to program two, and then uh, switch over to uh, 110 degrees to finish out the remaining of your dehydration process. This way you're gonna maximize the amount of enzymes and reduce the overall dehydration time. So that's how easy it is to use the Excalibur EXC10. Let's go ahead and go ahead and uh, go over some of the other features of this dehydrator. So now let's go ahead and share with you guys how to set this guy up. Super simple, super easy. Let's go ahead and hit the stop button since we had it running nice and quiet. Now one of the things I want to say is after running this dehydrator, I mean you could feel the top or the sides of this dehydrator completely cool to the touch. This is because this dehydrator is actually insulated. There's two stainless steel walls, one on the outside, one on the inside. So this gives a nice air gap. So this is going to mean, you know, the dehydrator is cool to the touch unlike other dehydrators on the market. So I definitely like this feature a lot. Uh, I mean, to set this guy up, basically super simple, super easy. We're going to go ahead and first take our drip tray that basically just, just slides into the bottom nice and easily. Then we can take each of this 10 stainless steel trays and uh, slide this in. So unlike other dehydrators on the market due to the design of this Excalibur dehydrator, literally you can actually put things all the way up to the edge of, uh, you know, the tray to get maximum use of the space. Now another cool thing I like about this dehydrator is that this is the largest home unit that Excalibur makes. It holds a total of 16 square feet of, uh, of food. So each of these trays is like approximately 15 inches by 15 inches in diameter. And one of the things I like about these is that there's no center hole like many of those round dehydrators. And uh, these are very easy to clean, and actually they get, they're even dishwasher safe. So, you know, if they get all messed up, throw them in the dishwasher, crank it on to clean them on off. Next, I want to go ahead and share with you guys the spacing between the trays. We've got a tape measure here. Spacing in between the trays, approximately one inch or so. And uh, that means you have a lot of uh, width to play with. And one of the cool things is I like about these side flow dehydrators like the Excalibur here. You can simply remove trays out you know, if you want to actually dehydrate something that's tall enough. Keep in mind, you know, you should slice things to dehydrate, you know, probably like half inch. You don't want to de dehydrate things that are too tall because the inside will not properly get dehydrated. And yeah, so that, yeah, definitely really a cool dehydrator. The last thing I want to mention about this Excalibur dehydrator today is that this has a nice long warranty. This is a full 10 year warranty. I mean, this is literally a piece of art for your kitchen. Nice, high quality, looks nice, it's going to complement your kitchen nicely. More importantly, it's commercially certified and will last you many years to clone. This will be the last dehydrator you'll ever have to own and I like this particularly because it's more quiet than the previous units. Also to me, it looks a lot nicer and I sure do like those digital controls. So whether you're a health enthusiast or a person that likes a really high-end, nice looking equipment, the Excalibur. EXC10 is definitely for you. Uh, this is going to actually replace the plastic Excalibur that I have on my countertop, and uh, I'm sure it's going to be really nice. It's a lot quieter, and uh, you know I'm going to love it for many years to come. Last thing I want to say is that this is the only Excalibur model that's fully, truly stainless. Other Excalibur models, the nine tray model, for example, is a stainless steel clad, so it still has a plastic interior with only stainless steel panels on the outside for looks. You can get that one with the stainless steel trays as well, and that's about half the price of this one. You know, this is definitely going to set you back a pretty penny, but I think if you're a, you know, health nut, health enthusiast that doesn't want to dehydrate things on plastic or have plastic anywhere near their food, or, you know, you just like the high-end appliances that look really nice in your kitchen, professional look, and is going to last a lifetime, high quality, the Excalibur 
EXC 10 is it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. You can learn more about the Excalibur EXC 10 at discountjuicers.com slash excaliburstainless.html. I'll put a link below this video so you can link directly to that. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not already for upcoming videos where I will be comparing uh, this model with the previous generation Excalibur. So let you guys know the specific differences, the specific noise levels, and how they work. At this point, this is definitely my favorite Excalibur to date, and uh, I'm going to be replacing my current Excalibur with this one on my countertop. I like that you can also push it all the way back uh, against the wall below the countertop because there's no longer other controls in the back like with the previous units, but up front and within easy reach on the brand new model.